Boom. Boom. It is go time. Me versus, the hell is the name of this ball? Me versus the Grand Thunderbird. Do you think, okay, this is what I wanna do. I wanna talk to Diver Man Sam about getting the uh, Phoenix bosses from Terraria Reborn in Thorium. I'm gonna try and convince him. It might take some money to convince him, but either Diver Man Sam or some other mod. I'm gonna try and convince them. I'm also gonna talk to the like original creator of the uh, Phoenix sprites, cause I really want those Phoenixes in a, in a mod, bro. <laughs> I love those phoenixes. They represent OG modded Terraria for a fact. And I want to see them in their own mod. Or not own mod, but it would be nice to see them in like Thorium. All right, I don't know what's going to be. That was a bad dodge. I don't know what's going to be our best bet fighting this boss. I can't even reach the boss. It's number one. Oh, do I take fall damage? Yeah, we should be careful. I don't know what what's going to be the best item for this. This one? This fist? What does this fist do? Dash. Oh, okay. See, I didn't expect him to do that. We need to uh, build combos, and then with the combo, we need to launch out that attack. I'm very scared of fighting him like that, because as you can see, that's a long fall, dude. I don't have a dash. I tried to dash right there. Build a combo, build a combo, build a combo, and then hit him with that. Boom. Not bad, not bad. This is going to be a hard fight, though, because obviously our range is not exactly the greatest. And we take fall damage. Just like number one, one of the probably worst things about this fight is going to be us taking fall damage. So we have to be very, very careful how high we go up. I should have planned this a little bit more. Oh, if we could do that, that was nice. Bro, I didn't. That didn't look like he was gonna dash. He usually does an animation or a tell when he dashes. I'm making the Grand Thunderbar Thunderbird Thunderbird look hard right now. Oh, 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 oh! I've never staggered him before like that. Is this Dark Souls? Can you do that with all Thorium bosses? What was that? Y'all seen that? I've never seen that before. That was cool as hell. Oh, damn! I missed my opportunity. I didn't think I was gonna stun him. Watch the parry. Watch the parry. Hit him with that 62 damage. We'll take it. I took one damage. He took 62. We'll take it. Hoop. 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 Get him out of here. Let's go. Our first boss has been slain by young Fisto Reborn. Can we get some Casimir Pogs in the chat? That was a good fight. That was a good fight. It actually felt challenging, but not too challenging. That moment when you fade a primordial storm creature. All right, let's do it. First fight against another uh, vanilla boss, I guess. Counter Strike 3 damage. Come on, green screen to knockback. Uh huh. Restores life. Okay. Well, I know which one I'm using. Oh, God, this hurts already. So, what we really have to worry about is just projectiles from uh, the spike slime. But other than that, the fight shouldn't be too bad just because of how many iframes we have when we're fighting. Damn, what the hell did I hit him with, bro? Whew. Damn, hit him for that 175. He keeps on dodging out of my counter strike. I'm trying to hit him with a counter strike. I ain't talking about the game either. The way that this mod like calculates iframes is so like perfect because you get a lot of iframes, bro, which is exactly what you need because you wouldn't be able to fight any bosses without iframes. Okay, we're going to hit him with the last hit. All right, the last hit. Let's charge this baby up and we're hitting him with that good stuff. Boop, boop. I said, boom. There we go. Get him out of here. So if we lose this fight, then it's blame it on me. Okay, no, blame it on the class. All right, don't blame it on me. Queen B before we fought I Cthulhu. Damn, what the fuck? I'm gonna get hit every single time unless I parry. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen the parry? Oh, she going for this shit right away? Come on. Okay, that is not smart to fight her like that. What, what if I just parry every single time? I'm using this because if we build a combo with this, we get what, life regen or we get health, something like that? I wanna see, I'm trying to use uh, different weapons here because I wanna see which one would be you know the best in this situation i gotta be very careful what we do here because our health is already not looking good come on bro getting attacked by the bees <laughs> i'm kind of scared let's get two hits get two hits our potion is coming up as long as we hit these parries i did not think she was gonna dash again <laughs> it's all good if we take our time we build up those uh, higher damage hits Look at those parries. Those things did damage. Yeah, if we don't attack a boss for a while, we build up uh, a parry. These fucking little bees are messing the fight up. I couldn't get my parries off because those little bees are interrupting my iframes. Oh my god. She's going so fast. 
And that's all she wrote. Whew. All right, not too bad. You know, not too bad for us not having fought in any other vanilla boss but King Slime. Thank you, Dex. Uh, let me know if you're in the chat, Dex. Let me know I threw a bomb. <laughs> Shit! How the hell did that happen? Wait, it's nighttime. How come nobody told me to fight the Eye of Cthulhu? Let's do it. Wait, what's gonna be the best fist? This one. It's really good that we don't take fall damage, because that means I can, like, fight him to the sky. The Counter Strike was good on the Queen Bee, but it's the Eye of Cthulhu. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Alright, see, now actually it might be good now. Counter Strike. Counter Strike. Boom. 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 Do it again. See what happens. That was two counter strikes in a row. Oh my god. You see you hear how hard I'm clicking? <laughs> he ran into me. Wait, I still blew it up. <laughs> what? This fight is going extremely well, if you couldn't tell. Like I am dominating the eater of worlds right now. Parry, parry. I'm trying to get these parries off. Parry! Oh, Perry. Oh, do it again. Perry. Oh, shit. I missed. Finish him with the uppercut. That was a clean, clean uppercut. Do I have a battle pot? No, you should never take this long to spawn. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Whatever. I'll take it. That's a W. I feel like every time I say like a certain item is from a mod, people are thinking that I think that the item in that mod, what it's a reference to is just from that mod and is not from another game. Know what I'm saying? Like if I were to say that, Hey, this matter manipulator item is from the shadows of Abaddon mod. People are like, wait, no, it's not. It's from Starbound. It's like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant that the item itself is from shadows of Abaddon. It's like people think I'm stupid because they're the ones being stupid. It's the same thing with the lucky block thing. Well, the lucky block thing is not from Mario. How it looks is from Mario. But like, uh, again, people think I'm stupid because they're the ones being stupid about it. How come there's still no giant like piranha fish boss that you have to fight underwater yet added for in from any mod? Okay, let's get to it. Oh, wait, I don't have potions this time. Uh -oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna use the bee gauntlet still. <laughs> I gotta make sure I stay with her so she doesn't run away. God damn the damage, bro. I'm hitting her for like a hundreds. No bestiality. Get out of here. That was easy. That was too easy. This fix, this fist character has some potential to be a god amongst peasants.